Hey guys, I'm back with another Felicity Jane kit that I'm very excited to share. And if you want to see how they come packaged and everything, it's such a cute box. You can go back to my first um, Felicity Jane video, the open box, and I have like close up pictures and everything of <clears throat> how it comes packaged because it really is adorable. But this kit is called Claire, and I, um, I'm just going to go through the embellishments and things first, and then I'll go through the papers. And I haven't really looked at anything yet, I just took it out of it's cute wrapping and stuff and put it around me so we're going to be looking at it for the first time together so the first thing that i saw was this little um glassine bag and it has a cute little felicity jane logo on it sticker and i love these little bags so i'm going to try to see if i can oh good keep it intact and it looks like there's some wood veneer and, ooh, some, oh, cute. So these little wood veneer, wood veneer tabs and they say love and today with parentheses or brackets. And then there's some little white, um, kind of like resin stars. I'm gonna, let me flip this around and set them on it so you can really see them. They're super cute. They have some dimension to them, like height. They're you know, they're not f super flat. They're not super thick either. They're really, really cute. Look how cute those are. So you get those. And then two feathers, two different sizes. I like when things are different sizes. So here's the two different feathers. And then two stars. So that's in the first little bag. Really cute. <clears throat> and then there's this like pillow box that it was the same thing with last month's kit that always has a bunch of fun different kinds of goodies in here in there and I can see already some sequins which I love sequins there's also some flare buttons and by the way all the products in these kits are exclusive to Felicity Jane are so you can only get them there I don't know about like the sequins and stuff but all of the flare and wood veneer and papers and that kind of thing are all exclusive exclusive to Felicity Jane so that's kind of fun so you get these four flare buttons and they're kind of the mini size flare buttons, which I really like. And this is a heart and it's kind of like the top of a brad almost. And then there's some cute little hot pink, oops, I'm spilling stuff, paper clips. Oh, here's some more of those like, that kind of look like, they really do kind of look like the top of a brad. And then there's all these sequins. And what I really like about these sequins is there's two things in here that stand out to me. One is this like rose gold color, which I've never seen before in a sequin and I absolutely love it. And the other is the navy, which are super fun. And then there's some different colors of pink stars and some kind of teal stars, it looks like. So that's a kind of a little mis mismatch of embellishments that you get. And I'm not sure that if they're the same in every kit or if they differ. And then this cute little muslin bag with the black heart on it, which we also got last month. And I'm just gonna pull the things out. So this really cute little polka dot <clears throat> craft bag. And it looks like there's something inside of there. Yeah, there's two little um, shipping tags, one in craft and one in kind of an off-white color. And then, ooh, there's this awesome wood veneer frame with the heart. Oh my gosh, what is, that is so cool. Oh, there's some really cool stuff in here. Hang on. Let me get it out. Okay. There, ooh, there's this um, circle wood veneer that says Brave on it. And then there's this little, like, popsicle stick and what you get on it is this um kind of rose gold colored polka dot washi tape which is also awesome and then i think this is like also some kind of tape yeah it's like gold foil really thin tape that's so cool i've never seen that before and it also has a little heart and printed on it so that's very cute and then this is the same kind of material as the hearts and it's a speech bubble and it says love i really like that and then this thing is so cool it's like a cut it's 
it's thick like plastic but it feels lighter than plastic and it says my happy place and it's really really neat I've really never seen anything like this in a kit it's not resin I don't think I'm not sure but it's very detailed and it would be super cool in like a project life card or something or you could use it on a layout so all of that comes inside of the little muslin bag okay let me get that out of the way and then there is also a cork alphabet and I've never seen a bag like this it's like a plastic bag but it has a a tie to it it's really cute it's a really cute bag um the last kit we got a set of wood veneer alphabets and they were like I think three of the vowels at least I didn't have a problem making titles so I would assume that these are the same except these are cork they're super light and these are in lowercase letters so I see that there are numbers there's hashtag um, there's an ampersand and an asterisk and I see some parentheses I also see lots of dots so you could use those as embellishments because there are a bunch of them um, and there's a bunch of letters there are like a ton of dots those would be super cute as a kind of like confetti and there are also some little like commas or oh, um, apostrophes it looks like so you get a whole ton of those so that's really cool I like that okay so that is the alphabet and I want to <clears throat> sorry point out that while I was putting those away I noticed that my fingers were getting dingy and like you can see all this dingy on the white paper so I think it's from the sides it looks like there's a little bit of like black print or something to make them dark on the side so just be mindful of that when you're working on your project if you're kind of moving them around that they leave kind of a don't just put them on your paper and move them around or else you're going to end up with that on your paper which I don't know how well it's showing up but there was definitely some it looked like I've been playing with distress ink like on my finger so no big deal just something to be aware of okay and then there's also an exclusive four by six made in the USA stamp photopolymer stamp set in every kit and it comes inside of an Avery L type um package which is great if that's how you store your stamps and it's already labeled and everything for you and this month's set is really cute so you have the bow hello everything is possible fun a day to remember the arrows this cute butterfly the triangles which would be so fun to create a background something to celebrate and the flag I'm assuming that all of these fit into that flag they look like they do um, follow your heart and the arrow so that's a really cute set I really like um, her stamp sets I think they're easy to use on layouts I think they're also really easy to use for cards or like if you do project life so then you get um, paper and cardstock and a couple of other things inside of like a big 12 by 12 um, like clear packaging and I went ahead and took that out already and inside was this white doily and then also the kind of die cuts and this month they're sewn with like a rose gold colored thread and if you watched my last process video I <clears throat> cut this and actually used it as an embellishment on my layout and it was really cool so these are not cut or perforated or anything you have to cut them out yourself they're super easy to cut out I'm not a fussy cutter but last month I did it in like just a few minutes the only problem I see posing with these these even look easier than last month is this horse but I would probably just do like a make leave a border around it and not even try to get like between it up here or anything just kind of do like a rough cut of it I think that would be cute because I, I think it would be hard to fussy cut that horse but all the other things you can probably there's probably a punch that matches those I would imagine and everything else is fairly easy to cut out on this side so you have some banners the labels and then the opposite side again is pretty easy square little tag um, these little ticket shapes this one you have, just have to go around the outline of the heart which is no big deal and that so oops did I show you all the other ones I didn't realize I was out of frame so the colors seem to be like a peachy color um, a kind of true magenta a navy teal and this kind of olivey mustardy color so a real pretty color combination so <clears throat> let's move on to the papers okay so the first paper this month is a really cool piece of paper actually 
There's one four by six card and four, eight, 10, three by four cards. So these are really fun. I love this kind of ombre one that says happy. Um, this peachy colored ampersand is awesome. And then there's a braiding strip on the bottom. And then the other side is a great big bold stripe. She had a big stripe like this in the last collection also. Um, here, I have those papers. I'll just show you as like a quick reference. So this was the color scheme in last month's kit, which is was also very pretty. So I like that she does kind of a um, nice bold stripe that shows you all of the colors in the kit. So that's the first page. I absolutely love this page. They all have at the bottom um, Felicity Jane and the name of the collection, which is Claire. Not necessarily the name. N not each paper is named, I think. So that's really pretty, and I really like this one also. It's a white background with a very, very thin diagonal stripe of all of the colors, and then the bottom has this really cool kind of tribal um, motif in the peach color. This one is a nice kind of graphic with the teal. And then the other side is that kind of mustardy green color with the blue teal horses. And then a kind of triangle at the bottom. I'd probably use this side. I don't, I, I don't know how to use this side yet. I'll have to think of something. Um, fun triangles in all of the colors. Big graphic print. And you do only get one of each piece of paper, but they're all make such a statement that you really can get away with cutting them up and using them on like multiple layer. I love this one. Multiple layouts, um, just by using smaller bits of it. Or you could use it as a big background, but just cut the middle out and then wherever you embellish, you could, um, you know, cover up. This is so cute. It's like a navy with a polka dot and a white bow. Let's see it. So, so cute. And then this is kind of that same pattern that was on the bottom, but in all of the colors. And then, ooh, I love this. A nice bright pink horizontal stripe. I love a horizontal stripe. It's one of my favorite types of paper. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these around to the side that I will probably use. So here are the five pattern papers. This is kind of, to me, this kit is kind of like a hybrid between like a scrapbooking kit and like an embellishment kit, kind of like freckled fawn and whatever scrapbooking kit you want to call had like a baby. It's like a hybrid um, because you get all of those really cool exclusive embellishments and then, but you do get some paper. I mean, you get five pieces of pattern paper, but I feel like because it's all, you know, made by or designed by the owner, I think it's designed by the owner, but it all comes from Felicity Jane, that it's just so unique. It's kind of like the freckled fawn kit, but then again, it's like geared towards paper crafting and scrapbooking because you get the paper. So it's kind of like a, a mix between the two, which I really like. Um, so here are all the papers, and then you get three pieces of cardstock, and they seem to be like American Crafts textured cardstock. I'm not sure what they are but there's the bright kind of fuchsia color. And then this is a craft, but it's kind of a, it's a darker craft. And then a pretty navy. So that is everything from the kit this month. And I will have a video of me using it when I have time to make a video of me using it. <laughs> Um, it'll probably be a week or two before I can get to this kit, but uh, make sure to check out the Felicity Jane website and let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.